We want your uniqueness of who you are. We want you to find that. You all have potential. You got to find a way to get that out. It's just lying dormant right in there. It's, it, it hasn't been realized yet. That means something's going to happen later. But if you don't do what you're supposed to do, then you robbing you of you. Welcome back to MLB Tonight, a conversation. And Harold and I were joined with two great people who have impacted the game from the Major League side now making a huge impact on the youth side. I'm talking about former Major League manager, Jerry Manuel, former All-Star player, Marquise Grissom. First of all, thank you guys so much for joining us today for this special day. Well, thank you. Thank you for being out here to give us uh, this type of exposure. And I guess we'll start off talking about the Dream Series. Jerry, you've been a part of this since inception as far as the Dream Series goes, managing these young players, giving them advice. Why was it important to you to be a big part of this? Well, because we had recognized that the numbers were declining, and rather than talk about it, we had to find people that were in this space doing things about it. And Marquise was the first, probably one of the first guys in the country putting together programs and so forth, things like that. I actually remember managing, and Marquise was the first base coach with the Nationals. He said, Jerry, I can do much more for our culture at home than I can do here at the Major League. That's amazing. And Marquise, you know, you played for a very long time. A lot of players you see, they'll play the game, they'll have their careers, and they kind of just ride off into the sunset. Why was it important for you to continue to pass down to the youth of today? Well, I think um, no player make it to the Major League by themselves. There's always somebody in the community, your parents, your little league coach, uh, that has something to do with your success. And uh, so many people impacted me along the way. I almost felt obligated to go back and give it back to the youth without a, without a question. And also coming from a big family, that love and that, co that, that camaraderie amongst each other where we all you know, were very close-knit and, and, and took care of one another, that's why I love the game of baseball. That's why I love going back and trying to help. You know, you both came up Montreal Expos. And that was like one of the premier development organizations in all of baseball. So Jerry, I'll ask you with this and Marquis follow off it. What did you what did you take from those early years in Montreal development that you're maybe applying now? Well, what we took was that we were beginning to get athletes uh, mm. in Montreal when they got athletes. So once you got the athlete, there was there was no mechanical stuff that we were taking away from them. We were just trying to free them up to be who they are and what they could do. I mean, this guy could have pitched. He could have been a two-way guy, uh, wow. really. He could have yeah. been a two-way guy. But at that time, it was just, hey, he's a center fielder, got great bat speed, blah, blah, blah. And then we had to come to their level and teach at their level, which was good for us as coaches to learn how to teach. They I taught mean, us. I don't think people realize, I mean, you had you, you had Andre Dawson, you ended up with Tim Raines, Mark Keese. I mean, you name it, on, 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 on. I could continue with so many names that came through there. And I just thought that was important of that development. So Mark Keese, he was saying you could have pitched, could have hit. When you make a decision, when you see a kid and you're watching the development now, especially with the, the emergence of a Shohei Otani, how do you make that decision for a kid when it comes to two-way? Well, I think it's, it's all about the relationship. You got to have that relationship with that kid so he can he believes in you. Mm -hmm. Now, if I can get him to believe in, in himself, he can play all the positions. So the guys that go two-way, I recommend them to keep going two-way until they do get the college or they get drafted and then, then make that decision, just like Michael Harris did. But um, I think uh, for myself, me, I just wanted to play baseball. I didn't want to play every five days. I wanted to play every day. Mm. And I made it. Well, Jerry helped me make that decision <laughs> when he got on me about my tennis shoes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That oh, far yeah. back. Oh, yeah. My oh, league yeah. coordinator when I first got there. Yeah. And yeah. Um, Soup really, you know, just really took care of me and showed me the, the, uh, the, the, the road to success, him and Tom, uh, Tommy Harper. So yeah. oh. I was blessed to have somebody that looked like me mm -hmm. and that cared about me. And that was this guy right here, him and uh, Tommy Harper. Well, what would you want to leave here, the Dream Series, with if I was a young man? What would you want him to walk away feeling or knowing if, once he leaves here? Oh, uh, it's, it's so difficult to get all of the instructions into a guy. But what you would hope that a guy leaves here is a freedom that he has the ability to play and be himself. Mm -hmm. If he could be himself with his ability and talent, we freed him up. 
And that's what that's all we're trying to do. Yeah. And I want to talk a little bit about the impact of having these players at such a young age. It's tough to get superstars when they're down the road and they're already superstar players, but being able to get these guys at 15, 16, 17 years old, and you see a talent like a, like a Michael Harris come in, what do you see in those kids at that age? And how did you, did you know that Harris would become the star of today's game that he is right now? I had a real good idea at 15. You know, we know, when you see those guys like Hunter Green or Michael Harris, you kind of got an idea. But to see him, his work ethic and his love for the game, that's what overtook me to say, hey, this guy got a chance. And then once, once you put the work in and you kind of got to understand what you're doing, what you're um, trying to do as a baseball player is get to the major leagues, then the, the door is open. And that's what Michael Harris did. He just knocked the door down.